Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. This is actually just kind of an impromptu video. Um, I was sitting here detangling my hair and using an awesome pre-poo treatment. And I was like, let me show everybody how I detangle my hair. Um, if you all watched my top five tips for length retention video, I will link that above. Um, you guys know that one of my points was about detangling and detangling in sections. Unfortunately, I did already start. So this whole half of my head is already done. Um, I just had like a little flat twist style. I'll try to show you the back here some. Oh, it's kind of dark, sorry. But I just had flat twists going straight down in the back um i will insert a picture of a similar hairstyle that i did i actually may do a video on that um it's just a quick simple go-to style that i like to do when i don't have a lot of time to do anything to my hair <laughs> um but i wanted to show you guys how i detangle my hair i am type 4 hair um, in case anyone is wondering, but the awesome thing, this is nothing new. This is not a new product. It has been out since probably earlier this year, maybe late last year, uh, but it's been out for a while. And it is this African Pride pre prude treatment. Everybody has been raving about this product. Most people love it. I've seen a few reviews where people did not like it. I don't know how, but this stuff is amazing. I have used it twice and I have used almost all of it. Um, it is a very like liquidy consistency. The slip is on a million. It is really, really good. Um, and I got it from my local beauty supply store for $6.99, as you can see there. So it's fairly inexpensive um, because none of my Dollar Generals, they do carry a Dollar General as well, but none of the ones I've been going to have I seen this, which I wish I could because the rest of the African Pride products are only about $5 there. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. I've been just taking down, um, each of the flat twists and I am not being rough with my hair. I'm literally just able to separate it. Um, I've had my hair like this all week. This is kind of like my, uh, protective style for me. And I'm actually going to just go ahead and take the rest of these out because there's only three left. Um, so I'm going to take all the rest of these out. Last one here. And I'm literally just putting my hand in between where I pick hair up. That's how I'm able to move to take these out so quickly. All right, so that is that. So now I'm just gonna split off some of this with my fingers. I'm gonna split off about that much. I'm gonna clip the rest of this away and Start on this back section. Now, it does say to um, use this on dry hair, but my hair has been in twist all week. So <laughs> I kind of don't want to just put this straight in on dry hair. And that's why you can go through this very quickly. Like I said, I'm, I probably only have maybe one more use out of this. So I've used it three times. It'll be three times that I've used it. Um, but I personally was applying this to damp hair, so I would just mist my hair just a little bit, not get it drenched because my hair has been in twist all week. It's a little parched, as you can imagine, because 
um, you know, moisture is just gone. Um, once I kind of spritz it just a little bit and put a little bit more, um, I kind of work the water in and I kind of just finger detangle how I am able to before I've even put the product on. I will get a little bit closer. So just finger detangling just a bit. Okay. And now taking off any little shit hair I can grab, which isn't much at all if you can even see that not much at all that's about how much shit hair i've been doing in the midst of doing it on kind of dry hair then i go in and i scoop some out about this much here there we go Oop. <laughs> This stuff that is very, very slimy, but it's super duper slippery. Like if you have issues detangling your hair, your child's hair, especially if they have, I would say definitely 4C hair. I really don't think I have 4C in the back. I know my hair is tighter back here for sure. Um, but I don't know if I would say 4C. I don't know if I would say 4C tight, but it did tight. If I had to categorize, which it doesn't honestly matter, your hair is your hair. But um, mostly 4B and I have 4A here in the front. So I just kind of grab as much as I want. You can use as much or as little as you like. I rather saturate my hair pretty well and it defines my hair really, really good. <laughs> I really wish this was like a, um, a styling product to be honest, but I have, I think I feel like I've seen somebody actually use this for a styler. And again, I am just going through raking my hair to detangle and I am actually grabbing shed hair as I'm doing this and trying to just get out any knots that I'm able to try to show you guys this shed hair I'm gonna try little YouTube hand <laughs> And now I'm going to go in with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. Start at the ends. Oh, look at my little curl back there, y'all. <laughs> Start at the ends and work my way up. And do you guys see how I'm able to just literally glide through my hair? So my hair just naturally gets tangled very, very easily. I'm detangling my hair um, at multiple steps in my wash day routine where most people, they can just detangle once and they go about their business. Like they don't detangle no more. I wish I had that luxury. This is always do what works best for your hair. Do not follow I mean, you can try it out, but naturally, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. And it's fine because I have a good bit of shedding that I've always just had a lot of <laughs> shed hair. But um, so I think that contributes to my hair getting so tangled. And I just twist it up and that's it. But that twist is so juicy. And that's that's all I do. So I'm going to go ahead and show the rest of this section sped up to you guys and I will be back.
All right, you guys. So that is it. That is it. That is how I detangle my hair. Um, I I was able to do slightly bigger sections. I'll show you this side. This side had more hair because of how I have my hair um, parted. Kind of got like a little side part here. There. So this side has less hair than this side um, up in the front. But, you know, fairly decent sized sections I was able to do. But just again, to recap, um, tips for detangling. Again, if you have longer hair, you got to take your time, do sections and detangle. So again, just to recap, this stuff is amazing. So if you guys have not picked this up, if you've seen it, you've been questioning it, you should definitely pick it up. It is very moisturizing, just a quick kind of what it should do um this moisturizing and detangling blend uses the natural benefits of aloe vera and coconut water to condition protect and remove tangles from coils and curls leaving hair soft easy to, soft and easy to manage during cleansing and styling um, it does say before cleansing, so you do use this on dirty hair. Um, apply a generous amount, use fingers or comb to detangle. I use a detangling brush and then rinse thoroughly for especially dry or tangled hair. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes before rinsing and then follow up. They're saying with their shampoo, but basically follow up with shampooing. That is my detangling process. Again, I lightly spritz my hair with water then went in and finger detangled a little bit where I could to try to break up some of the knots and shed hair then I went in with the pre-poo treatment worked that in through my hair and as you could tell I was just kind of gliding and using my thumbs and my fingers to kind of glide through those um, any tangles out before I went in with my um detangling brush and just to give you guys an idea of how much shed hair, which this is not as much as I usually have. This is about how much shed hair I have, which is again, like I said, this is not a lot at all for me personally, okay? <laughs> again, I've always had a lot of shed hair, but usually I have double this amount um, for my whole head. And that is from my whole head. I usually get about that amount for one side. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys this quick detangling video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave those down below. If you're new to the channel, let me know. Drop a comment below. I did see a few newbies um, on my last video. That was super exciting. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. And until the next time, I will see you guys then. Bye.